Hi, and welcome to Nuclear Dawn Help 103. In uh, this tutorial, we're going to get to the meat and potatoes, individual strategies on the maps. We're going to begin by reviewing the strategy by looking at it on the ground level. As you can see on Consortium, here's the base. Our strategy is we are going to go up this parking garage, use wireless repeaters to come right about that corner. Let me point at it one more time. Right there. Build the power structure along the roof down here. And the reason why we do that is because we don't want we want to make it hard for them to get to the structures. As you can see, I have to climb a ladder and it's a little bit it's slightly protected. This space as you can see here is plenty. We can build power generators, wireless repeaters, etc. Our bottom line is we're going to be building up this hall, this right side of the map as you see right here all the way down the hallway. It's a little bit risky as you can see here. There's quite a bit of open space. There's not a whole lot of buildings or structures to hide things behind or hide your structures behind. Plus if they're smart, they're going to want to come through here. This is a, this is a very important flanking area. Uh, another really good spot for them to take advantage of is to go up these stairs as I'm going to show. Walk the exit all the way down this hallway and then pop off a couple structures from this second floor. Anyway, we're going to keep coming up this right hand side. This is the second most important point in coming up up this right hand side. Reason being is there's a large area where they have a very clear line of sight and it's going to be very hard for you to hit them. As you can see, I'm going to demonstrate right here. See, they can hide in this space and they can still use the walls for cover. It'll make it very difficult uh, for you to hit them and they can have exos that can pop off structures. They can also use this spot here. They can build a power generator and uh, a, a spawn and it can sit independently by itself and they can use that to try to flank you as well. The Empire almost always comes down this hallway and as you can see, you need to be careful when you build structures there because they have a clear shot at a lot of different uh, things. Uh, so what I suggest you do is actually when you get up right up in this area you stop building and go around and build behind secondary there's plenty of cover it's extremely tall they won't be able to hit anything plus it'll give your men a pretty good uh, shot from there we're going to continue building around this side see I go around the right side of that building because we want to try to uh, provide as many of our structures as much cover as possible we're going to have to come pop back out here and uh, build up in this area. We're gonna maybe build several wireless repeaters in this little hole right here. We also need to build maybe some turrets and some supplies for a spawn right there and right there. Reason being is you want them behind the walls, you don't want them up coming up the hallway. Uh, you need to work very quickly when you come up this uh, the right side of the map because if they get exos with siege kits, as I'm gonna demonstrate right now, an exo can walk right up to this corner and they can pop everything off from here. Again, that's why I tell you to build around secondary and around the buildings. You want to try to expose the least amount of structures possible. Our ultimate goal as consortium is to get on top of this following roof that I'm about to climb up right now. This is our sweet spot. This is our golden spot. If we take this roof, we win the game. As you can see, there's plenty of room to build as many structures, uh, supply stations, forward spawns and maybe even one or two generators and as you can see all of the buildings are with sight are within sight see right there there's the command bunker you can pop it off from right here you probably don't even have to get off this roof once you take the roof the only other way that they can get up to this roof if you take this roof is the stairs that are about to approach I'm pointing at spots where you could put maybe some buildings and they will be able to fit very well these stairs right here Next, we're going to review one, uh, I guess, weak spot that we have as consortium. Uh, if they walk an exo all the way up the left side of the base, and he basically walks in here, he has the ability to pop off as many structures as, he's, as he would like. There's a ton of space. It also provides them a moderate amount of cover. And as you can see, if you have anything built here in the, air, in the middle of the ground, he can pop it all off. Another advantage Empire has is their laser beams with their exos with siege kits goes right through this chain link fence. 
If you're a consortium, the rockets will blow up as soon as it hits a chain link fence. Also, another reason why I do not like building up the left side is because of this corner right there. Uh, it's, it's too difficult. Uh, they can actually pop off a lot of things very easily and as you can see right here They also have a little bit of a you know little spots to actually pop off a lot of your buildings It's a little bit too exposed and another reason why I like building on the right side of the map is I'm about to show you is this humongous space uh, You know if you are Empire or your consortium. I'm sorry. Excuse me consortium. They have there's plenty of space Look at all this space here Anything that goes down this hallway will get blown up. It's just a matter of who will be fast enough to take out enough structures to push back a little bit further past a primary, and then that's it. The game's over. Whoever, you know, uh, does a little bit better pushing wins. Now, for, consor uh, for Consortium, Empire has, uh, in my opinion, the advantage because they have this structure on their side. We don't have one of these. They have a building. Look right here. Oh, look at there. They have a perfectly uh, good uh, uh, spot on the second floor, plus cover. Oh look, here's another good spot. And look, they can pop anything off in that corner right there. Oh look, they can also pop anything that you have coming down there. And now we have a second floor. Again, even a better vantage point. Oh look at this, more uh, vantage points. Oh look at that, great spot to snipe anything. Snipe people, shoot people, or if you're an exo with siege kits, come up all the way in the very top roof. Let me jump up here. And again, wow, look at that. So coming up the middle, in my opinion, is not a very good idea. I like coming up the right side of the map. I, in my opinion, is the most effective as well. Now, just in case you haven't watched my Nuclear Dawn Help 101, you need to watch that to get a better idea of how to climb up the tech tree and how to do different upgrades in, in, in a specific order. So I'm not going to review that, I'm just going to jump right into it. First, we have to build a wireless repeater, that's as far as I can build it, I build it right there. Now I want to build, uh, research the field tactics. I do that right away so that way I can uh, build the armory to get siege kits whenever I'm ready. Now as you can see here, I'm going to zoom in, my power is very low, but I don't don't want to build a, a power generator inside my main base. I want to build it on top of the parking garage because they can pop it off from my main base. I want to extend it. So I'm going to skip. Uh, there it goes. Wireless repeaters built. Now we want to build, as I said earlier, over the parking garage. Now I'm going to skip through this because this game is almost half an hour long and we don't have forever. So there you go. Boom. We build a power uh, generator right on top of the garage. It makes it very difficult. They have to walk all the way up on the top. I'm going to put a turret and some supplies right next to my first forward spawn. This helps my guys uh, actually get to primary a little bit quicker. You can see my power generator on top of the garage is being built. And you, there's my other wireless repeater. And as you can see, uh, there's all my guys taking primary. Uh, I'll do another tutorial on directions on how to help your troops out later. But this is just strictly for strategy. There it goes. Wireless repeater is being unpacked. The range is opened up. We're going to continue building across the roof, extending the power. On this part, to protect myself from being sniped, and since my guys are doing so well, I have a little bit of money to blow. Otherwise, do not go building turrets for no reason. You want to build up the right side of the map as quickly as possible. Alright, that wireless repeater is unpacked. I'm going to zoom in here. I'm going to try to place it behind that car as best as possible. Alright, my guys are still trying to push up towards primary. I'm going to try to put maybe another wireless repeater right there, just in case they need a turret, or if they get pushed a little bit too hard, here's some supplies I'm dropping down next to them. Up on the right side again, I'm going to try to do my best to kind of place that wireless repeater uh, behind some vehicles. I'm going to need a second power structure because I'm going to build a lot of turrets, so I build it up there. Again, there's plenty of space, so I'm going to take advantage of it. There's my first uh, set of guns. If they try to flank me, that'll help slow them down a bit until my guys are able to get out there and help me. Alright, next wireless repeater. Uh, I really didn't have a whole lot of options. I did want to stick it out here in the middle, but there it goes. Now I'm building an armory because uh, I want to get my guy siege kits right away. And I held off on building the armory right away because they were really kicking ass and they were capturing all the resource points. As, as you can see here, they just took primary 
and they have both secondary. Now, I know I told you earlier, do not build this uh, there. That's something I did wrong. I built the, for the forward spawn on the left side of that secondary. It's supposed to be on the right side uh, where it should be protected. So uh, that that's a no-no. I just did a no-no. Now, I'm putting a turret on the left side of secondary. It protects the resource from being captured. I'm going to put another turret right there on that corner, which again is a no-no because they can hit it. Uh, you can see where my power grid is. I want you to show you what the power grid looks like on the map. You can see my guys are having a hard time. They're getting stonewalled. Uh, while all my guys are still pushing for primary, the enemy just now discovered that I'm on the right side. So as you can see, his engineer is trying to take out my wireless repeater. Yeah. So anyway, uh, once they discover you're building up the right side, you really have to move very quickly. Uh, at this point, it's actually very easy. I actually instructed my men, leave primary, let them have it. Everybody come to this right side of the map, defend all these buildings, and push a flank up that hallway. So I'm going to build another turret on the other side of that doorway. So if they try to come behind us, it won't be successful. Now, as you can see, I'm still coming up the right side of the map. Right here, I'm building a little bit of defense. I'm just showing this to you because one of my guys complained that he was having a lot of trouble. Building more power, continuing to build up the right side, as I said, behind the buildings. Now, at one point of the game, he he actually managed to start getting up on top of the parking garage. And I wasn't paying attention. In fact, I was still trying to build another forward spot on the right side of the map. But eventually he did try to get uh, something set up. The way I took care of this was I built uh, one rocket turret and several sonic turrets. The sonic turrets are a lot better. They kill the guys as soon as they come out of the forward spawn. Eventually it got to the point where that guy just gave up and sold off his structures because it wasn't worth uh, trying to keep taking the, the, the garage. I'm building more power here because I'm going to be building some more turrets. Remember that uh, whenever you build turrets, as you can see my power is red here because I'm building a lot of structures, uh, turrets, uh, one whole power generator only supplies three, maybe four turrets. Four turrets barely. So if you plan on building a lot of turrets, you're going to want to build a lot of power. So it's usually a little bit better, as I said in Nuclear Dawn 101, don't try to fight the map by yourself using turrets. As you can see, there's the EXO, there's a blue laser. You can't see him on the radar, but he just uh, popped off one of my wireless repeaters, and you can see the little ele electric uh, spark symbol on top of my buildings. That means they don't have power. I built two wireless repeaters, just in case they took one out, I'll have one up for just a little bit. And eventually this was a very difficult part. All of my men had to do their best to push, as you can see I'm building some supply depots, excuse me, supply stations. Always build plenty of supply stations for your men. That makes it easy for them to push for you. Eventually, we took that corner. Now, their guys were already on the roof, as you can see the radar exposes, so I built a couple sonic turrets. Sonic turrets are great because they have a ton of health, and uh, they're really good at close range. So y there you can see all my guys are trying to push up. Uh, I put the supplies, just like I pointed out earlier, right behind the wall. It'll help them out. It took a quite a while to take this garage, or the top of that roof, but eventually we did get we did push past it. This is an important spot, right as I'm zooming in right here. You want to build supplies, you want to build maybe uh, a forward spawn. Eventually we did take the roof. And I'm zooming in right here, you can see where I'm putting another forward spawn. That is crucial. You want your guys to be able to spawn on top of the roof and give them plenty of supply stations. And of course, as you can see, once we took the that roof, the game was practically over. I want to give you one more shot of what, uh, how easy it was. It was just, I was so bored I was just practically building structures just for the hell of it. Well that's it for Nuclear Dawn Help 103. I hope that this strategy helps you out for this map. Please comment, like, or share your own experiences. Uh, tell me if you think this is good or if you have a better strategy. Thank you.